Good afternoon. I'm Colonel Timothy Marsano, Public Affairs Officer for the Idaho National Guard. On behalf of the Idaho Adjutant General, today I will present a summary of the U.S. Army crash investigation report that was recently completed. The families of both soldiers killed in the crash have now been briefed on the findings, as has the rest of our Idaho Army National Guard aviation community. During a routine training mission on emergency procedures on November 6, 2014, at approximately 7 p.m., an Idaho Army National Guard AH-64D Apache Longbow helicopter crashed near Gallon Field on private property. The crash resulted in the deaths of both pilots and a total loss of the aircraft. This routine hands-on instruction is critical for military helicopter air crews since it trains them how to quickly respond to the loss of one engine's power during aircraft operations in both combat and training missions. In fact, this emergency procedure is regularly practiced by Apache pilots across the entire U.S. Army. A thorough and independent investigation conducted by a trained U.S. Army Crash Investigation Board has concluded that the two-man flight crew experienced an emergency situation from which it was not possible to recover, leading to the crash. In this situation, both engine power control levers were inadvertently and unknowingly placed into a position that caused the engines to overspeed while disengaged from the clutch system that connects the engines to the rotor hub. This would be similar to accidentally slipping a car's transmission into neutral with one's foot on the gas pedal. The engine would overspeed and would likely cross the tachometer's red line. However, on an Apache Longbow helicopter, the engines are designed to shut down rather than to overspeed and disintegrate in such a situation. The Crash Investigation Board concluded that it was not possible to determine which pilot inadvertently placed both engines into the lockout or overspeed position, since the throttles can be operated from either the front or the rear seats. This accident occurred during hours of darkness and at approximately 400 feet above ground level. The pilots had only about three seconds to respond before impact, which was not enough time to either restart the engines or to otherwise recover the helicopter before it crashed. The Ada County Coroner's Office determined both pilots were killed instantly upon impact due to blunt force trauma. During this investigation, it was determined that all Idaho Army National Guard supporting aviation systems were found to be within normal Army standards to include maintenance, risk management, logistics, and operational support. The U.S. Army aviation community will use the information gleaned from this crash investigation to brief Apache air crews with the goal of preventing such an accident from occurring in the future. We continue to extend our thoughts, our prayers, and additional support to the families of the pilots, Chief Warrant Officer Steen Gearhart and Chief Warrant Officer John Hartway. The families continue to ask for privacy and they are not open to speaking with the media at this time.